Good morning, guys. Oh, it is 10 past 11. I'm all shining because I smothered moisturizer on my face, etc. Dad is still not feeling great. Well, he's feeling okay, but not great. But uh, that's why the kitchen is a mess. So I was going to go to gym, but I need to wait to see if dad is up to going and getting mom to get my little brother or not. So I think what I'm going to do is... Let's do some, put the dishes away and do some dishes. Also, sort laundry because we've got some laundry that needs doing. I need to take this out here, put it on the side because it needs to be washed. It's been in there for ages. Uh, yeah, lots of things to do here. So, I guess I'll do them while I wait. And then, in about 10 minutes, I'm gonna make dad a coffee and turn it up, see if he's gonna up to try and eat anything or not. If he is, and he is up to going to get my little brother, I'll probably get ready and go to the gym myself so that I can get back into going because I have not been since May, beginning of June, so too long really. So let's do some cleaning. I had to go check on dad's car, it didn't look like it was locked. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Hmm. So. Hmm. Hmm. 
to exchange plan. Uh, Dad was going to go pick up my little brother with my mom from school because it's Friday. Normally I spend Friday to Sunday. I drop Nathan off on a Friday morning. I come to Bullwell. Dad goes to Hina at lunchtime. I've got some of my some glasses on my and picks Nathan up on with mum on in the afternoon and then I comes home in the evening. Well, Dad had some dental work yesterday and he's okay but he has been sick this morning he said he was fine so went to mum's and has been sick again a couple of times I rang him and even though he seemed to say he was okay he sounded a bit ick so, uh, we've all just agreed that I'm going to go get him. Get Nathan. It's not my dad. Go, I'm going to go get my little brother and take him back home. And then we'll figure stuff out from there, whether I sneak off because dad feels better, or dad sneaks off and I stay till bedtime. Uh, we'll see what happens. But I thought I'd put you in because I was going to go gym, but that doesn't look like it's happening now. I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna stick my music on and turn you guys off because you know my face is kind of red. It's very warm. Uh, yeah, there's nothing else to put you guys on. We're officially waiting outside there because we've got the sun slowly. I've got a couple of minutes before I can go in and get them, but that's fine. I will probably like put you up on the side and lean you against something. As I get them, uh, it is. Oh, that's the kitten double. Kitten double. I could go. Actually, I'm gonna go get them now just because it'll be easier.
turn it around. I'm super back. Look. Going back into the habit of taking a prescription. This is a little odd because I haven't done it in a year. Maybe longer. So. I'm actually going to go to cinema, it is about like 10 past 9. I think I'm not going to see a lot of me this morning. I will try and film a little bit if I can, if I remember to. But I now need to go get ready. Now that I've done that, I also need to have some breakfast. So this is what I want. I think we have muffins, so I think I'm going to have that instead. I just need to find my makeup, because I put that somewhere. I don't know where. Hot mug. Kitchen is getting there. No, I'll wait the job I do when I get back from the cinema later. Later. Hi guys, so I'm home. <sighs> My feet are a little sore because I wore new shoes, which was a really bad idea because new shoes always rub. Oh, hang on a second, let me turn this light on. There we go. I wore new shoes. Well, I went out in my normal shoes, bought new shoes because my normal shoes are boots. Oh. and boots aren't very good in this 30 degree weather so um you know one second so I bought some more 
which is why there's a Primark bag in the background. I ended up going to the cinema as well. I saw Crudes too, and I also saw Space Jam, which I thought was hilarious. Both were really funny, but I picked up these sliders. They were seven pound, but the normal ones were six, so I thought, why not? I got them in a five, but I think I might also grab them in a four. Because then these also stretch, so if my mother steals them, like I'm 99% sure she's going to do, I have a second pair. And then while I was in there, I'm using this black bag, this one for like everything, it's starting to wear in. And um, because it's a special bag, I want to keep it as nice as possible for as long as possible. These were the shoes I was wearing. You can now understand why I changed into new shoes, which was a bad idea. Find out. While I was in that, I ended up buying myself a weekend handbag uh, that I just thought would be good. It was £12, but I will get a ton of use out of this over the weekends. Going to the cinema, I just thought that it'd be good for. This would be good for my keys, and I can attach hand sanitizer to it, and just all those things. So this is going to be packed with everything I need on a weekend, like my travel passes, because then it's all in one spot and I don't have to think about it. My perfume that goes between bags, and then this is my mask holder that I use. That's also from Primark, actually. And then I um, have umbrella, which I don't need at the moment. And then while I was actually uh, in Poundland picking up treats, I also picked up a little pocket size power bank. Uh, I do have multiple of these all over the space, but like I thought this one would be like. Uh, I picked up this baby size one for a pound from Poundland because if it breaks, I'm not going to be too bothered. But also it will fit in this bag and this organizer really well and then I got a cheap lightning cable to go with it from Poundland and this is 1.5 because as a woman your phone dying is like the worst thing that can happen to you particularly in the 21st century Ugh. I needed more I needed some basic things so in Wilco just now I picked up these toe dividers so I can look after my toes or my fingers usually my toes some basic makeup sponges for like on the go uh, these are always good these this is a pack of two a big one and a mini one for three pound The in shower comb because I have long hair when I have my conditioner in I like to just comb through the ends keeps my hair healthy a eyelash curler I don't use these all the time but when I do because they're not like amazing for your eyeballs hang on let me zoom you in a little bit they're not like Eyelash curlers aren't great for your eyelashes, but I use them sort of every once in a while. I picked up some basic uh, eyeshadow. This is the Color Tattoo 24 Hours On and On Bronze. I used to use this all the time, but this is good for just a weekend, and it'll be good to go in my in a little makeup bag that will be thrown into this handbag. I ran out of mascara so I thought I would try something different so I got the waterproof uh, collections lash uh, lash lash <laughs> lash surge false lash effect I like to wear false lashes but I also like to wear my eyelash not wear fake eyelashes so this is gonna give me a boost great and actually the reason I ended up going looking at makeup is because I went into Morphe. So I don't go in there very often and when I do I tend to just browse. But I have completely run out of mascara, not mascara, oh my god. I've completely run out of foundation and concealer. And I've ummed and ahmed about which one I should get. And in the end I went in there and they were really lovely. 
they helped me find a good foundation for me so i look for a medium buildable coverage so i went for the morphe filter effect soft focus foundation in the color filter light three and then because i knew i was out of concealer i also grabbed the fluidity full coverage concealer for uh soft matte c 1.25 for under my eyes and just like along the front top of my nose and some of those areas because i don't really conceal a lot unless i have like a spot or something uh, and that's actually everything i ended up getting because as i said i went into the cinema i went in at 20 past 10 uh wandered around for a little bit and then i picked up the bits i needed and then i went in to watch space jam 2 which i would highly recommend i only didn't see the first one until recently uh and my dad said it all will be really bad but i personally think it was quite funny it was quite good and i think adults will enjoy it as much as kids and it might be something i'll see again as like a filler film this weekend i have seen everything but those two movies so it was just what it was and i decided to go see them instead i have a long list on my phone of movies i'd like to see i don't know where what my phone is let me show you so I have a Cineworld card. I've done a video on it. I'll link it up above and down below. And I will do an updated version of this because obviously I'm I'm actually my sec. Well, technically I'm three years in now, but I didn't pay at all last year. So this is my list of movies that I want to see. I make this list because, as you know, I'll just link it up here uh, because I like to go through the app. So the Cineworld app, I like to find, I like to go through what, what's booking and then what's coming. And then I list everything I want to see. Some things I might not see, like Cinderella. And then as I see them, I tick them off. But I also list the, how many I've seen in that month. So in May. And then also what screen I saw them in and what time. This is something new. And we've also been rating them. Me and my dad rate them. So I would give Space Jam a 8 out of 10. Just because it's a kids movie. Uh, and so in July I've seen Freaky, Black Widow, Fast and Furious 9, The Croods and now Space Jam. And on average I see about two films per week. Which makes it worth the money for me. So that's eight films a month. Sometimes I see more, sometimes I see less. Just depending, and obviously this is from May because we've been in lockdown, sadly. I do actually have trips on. So in January, I went in January, in 2020, in January, February, I went in March until the 14th. Then I didn't, we went into lockdown. And then I went on the 1st of August, all the way into September, twice in October and then that was it because the cinema closed so I like to keep track of all the things I've seen and then in I I've had so I've had the Cineworld card for three years as of the third so I'm doing pretty well and I'm enjoying it anyway I'm gonna pack all this stuff up and I'm gonna go and change actually we need to change the shower so i might have a look at changing that and then possibly taking a shower myself because i'm warm and icky and i also need to edit but i might come down and do that because i haven't really spent any time downstairs my watch also needs charging 